Hi guys, welcome to the uh, the, the fourth uh, lesson in the uh, Laws of Logarithms, the Logarithm series. Um, this is where we're going to be doing some questions on the Laws of Logs from the last lesson. For the question here, they're giving you two values. You're giving you a value of log 2 is equal to 0 0.431 and log 3 is equal to 0 0.683. I'm going to ask you to find some questions on this. The first one is I want you to find the value of log a6. Okay. Now, using our rules, we know that we can break 6 into 2 times 3. I'm going to use the point for a time symbol instead of doing a times. So, log a2 times 3. The reason I want to do that is because now, use my very first logarithm law, and uh, that's the same as saying log a2 plus log a3. Remember, when we are timesing these two things together, we can add them separately. And now by doing that, you know, log 2 is 0 0.431, log 3 is 0 0.683. If I add those two numbers together, we simply get 1.114, and I get my answer. Okay? All right, so that's number one. You can see, again, as you can see, I've just broken that six down to three times two, and then it's worked. All right, it's so the first one. The second one we're going to look at is the log of 1.5. Well, I know that log of 1.5 can be written as a fraction as 3 over 2. It's the same thing. And look, because I've got the two values of log 2 and log 3, I'm trying to use 3 and 2 in, in this little equation. So now I've got that, we know that that's the same as saying log a. Now, when we divide, we know we can subtract them. So log a3 minus log a2, which is going to equal to 0 0.683 minus 0 0.431. If I subtract those, we're going to get the answer of one point. Sorry, 0 0.252. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, C. Now I'm going to ask you to find the value of log A8. Now we've used the first two logarithm laws, so I'm guessing I'm going to be using the one where we're going to do using the power. So 8 can go into the power of log a2 to the power of 3. Now see again, I'm still using that 2 and the 3. Okay, So that can be rewritten as log. Now we know that we can bring the 3 in the front of it and say 3 times log of 2. So we've got 3 times log of 2, we know to be 0 0.431. So 5 times that together, we get the answer of 1.29. Three. Okay, so I've now used those three log rules. Those three log rules. All right, let's have a look at D. I'm going to do now to find the value of the log of A12. Well, this can be done lots of different ways. I'm going to do it a nice easy way. I know that's going to be the same as doing log of, let's say, uh, 4 times um, 3. Now, that doesn't use either of those two. So I'm going to go further and do log a of 2 times 2 times 3, because 2 times 2 is 4. You may have even used it of 2 squared and done that way. I'm just going to do it this way, because now I know that the log of a2 plus the log of a2 plus the log of a3, I can add them together, or it might be 2 log a2. And now I just simply add those together, so 0 0.431. Um, plus 0 0.431, or again multiply that by 2, and then 0 0.683. Add all those things together, and we're going to get the answer of 1.545. Okay, so you can see again where these rules are coming from. That was a times question, 4 times 3, or 2 times 2 times 3, etc., or even 2 squared times 3, and then we can simply just um, add those together. Okay, now we're going to go to E. I want you to find the value of log A, 2 over 9. Okay, 
So this is uh, another question where we can, uh, I think the second question is the division question. So we can do the log of a2 minus the log of a9. Um, because 2 divided by 9 is 2 minus 9. Now we're not quite there because I've got a 2 and a 9, but I want 2 and a 3. This can be broken up into something different. So we've got the log of a2 minus the log of a, and I guess you could do 3 times 3 if you wished, I'm going to do 3 squared, which then simplifies to the log of a2 minus, we bring the 2 down in front and do log a3. And now I can put my values in. 0 0.431, that's log 2. Subtract 2 times log 3, which is 0 0.683. I can now simply put that straight into my calculator and I'm going to get the answer of negative 0.935. So quite a challenging question, but again you can see my log rules for the division working where the subtraction goes. Okay, that's E. Remember, if any of this is uh, um, confusing, just pause, go back, rewind and do it again. Alright, this time I want you to find the log of A1 over 2. Okay, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I guess what I would probably do is start by doing log of a and then do 1 minus the log of a2. But then I look at this and I've only got the values of 2 and 3 and so I'm a little bit stuck so actually I don't think I'm going to be using that. So how else can I do this? Well I could also do the log of a2 negative 1. Okay that works as well. So now I can bring the negative 1 down in front of the log, negative 1 times straight brackets, the log of 2. Okay, we know what the log of 2 is, so it's simply negative 0 0.431. Look at my answer. So sometimes if the first bit doesn't work out, look for an option. Look to see what else can work. Okay, we've only got uh, a couple more to go. Alright, let's go to G now. I think it's G anyway. Okay, this one I want you to find the value of log A root 3, sorry, cube root of 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do straight away, I'm going to look at my indices, I'm going to put log a, now that means 2 to the power of 1 over 3, which is the cube root of 2. Because now what I can simply do is bring my power down in front of the log, of log of 2, which is going to, be, going to give me now 1 third times the log 2 is 0 0.431. And I simply put that into my calculator to get 0 0.14 or to three decimal places. Okay? Slightly more challenging because we're having a harder indice. Okay, we're going to do another similar one to that. It's going to be um, for h, the log of root 6. So pause it, have a quick crack, and see what you get. Okay, so I'm going to put log of a 6 to the power of a half. I'm going to put the half down in front and put the log of 6. Now that hasn't got me the 2 or the 3. So, but 6 goes into 2 and 3, or 2 and 3 go into 6, should I say. So I'm going to do a half brackets, the log of 2 times the log of 3. You can put the little a's there as well. I haven't put those on there. So again, what I've done there, because I know that 2 times 3 is 6, and the rule says if I'm multiplying these two things together, we add those logs together. So now it's simply a half times the addition of 0 0.431 and 0 0.683, which is going to equal the final answer of 0 0.557. It's a pretty tough question, that one, but you can see that uh, that once you apply those log laws, then it's uh, not too bad. Okay, we've only got now one more of this type of question, then I'll go into a harder type of question. Okay, now I. I want you to find the value of log 144, using those two values. Pause it, have a go at it, come back. Okay, so this is a, a bit more challenging, this one. A couple ways you can do it. First of all, um, you could do it by using log a of 12 squared, 
okay like that in that case I'm going to bring the 2 down in front of the log A12 but 12 I can't really use at the moment um, because I've got 1, 2 and 3 but we've done that question before so actually what we can do is a log of 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 okay which is equal to 2 times the log of 2 plus the log of 2 or before like we said 2 log 2 plus the log of 3 so all I now need to do is put my 0 0.431 0 0.431 and then my 0 0.683 I add them together and then still I need to times that value by 2 either way my answer becomes 3.09 which is nice and easy look some people even have done this instead of doing that they've done the log of a and they do 12 times 12 and then they do 2 times 2 times um, 3 and then they can double it because obviously it's times by itself and then 2 plus 2 plus 3 for the logs and it's exactly what you've got down here okay lots of different ways you can do that question okay now we're going to go on to the sorry question 3 so 2 it's question 2 uh, a little bit different it says solve 2 to the power of x equals 6 now this is a bit challenging because 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 to the power of 2 is 4 2 to the power of 3 is 8 it's going to be a decimal halfway between 2 and 3 somewhere around there so I'm going to use my logs okay I'm going to start by using what we call log 10 now log 10 on your calculator exists so wherever you see your calculator and it has that button that says log that actually means log 10 so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this in saying that the log 10 of 2 to the power of x is equal to the log 10 of 6. If I use the log 10 there, then that becomes correct. I am allowed to do that. Okay, and that is a bit of a, a, a method that you need to learn. Because now what we can do, we can sort of rearrange this first log, okay, because we've got a power, and write it as x log 10 2 okay that's my third rule the x comes out we can times them equals log 10 6 the opposite of times log 10 2 would be divide by log 10 um, 2 now I get this question and you think oh hold on I've got that. it's a divide question okay which is the same as saying log 10 6 over 2 in that regards and then what I can do is simply put that into my calculator I can even put that line on my, this line in my calculator too but either one of those two will work if I put those into my calculator I get the answer because the calculator, the calculator uses log 10 my answer is simply 2.58 but again if you enter either of those these two here into your calculator you'll get the answer of 2.58 so whenever you're using log 10 you can actually calculate the value using your calculator that's why we like using log 10 okay the next question log a x plus log a 3 equals log a 12 all right so we want to try to somehow um, arrange it so you know we've got an x in there which looks nice so what I'm actually going to do I'm going to simplify these because the log a is the base is the same so I'm going to actually write that as log a. Now, x plus 3, remember our rule, when we times them, we add them like this. So I can actually just write 3x, okay, because it's the same as that, is equal to log of a in 12. And what you might notice here, that log a 3x equals log a 12, therefore 3x equals 12, therefore x is equal to 4. I know, I looks easy now when we're doing it but it actually is quite challenging okay so you just got to work at these things um, the next one solve 10 to the power of negative x equals 0 0.7 once again I'm going to use my log to base 10 because it doesn't tell me anything about my log so I'm actually going to write log of base 10 and I write 10 to the negative x is equal to the log base 10 0 0.7 again I'm going to pull that negative x down in front of here Okay, and make negative x times the log of base 10, 10 equals log of base 10, 0 
Once again, I've used the base 10 because I know I can use my calculator for that. Then the opposite of times log 10, 10 is divide. So I'm going to get minus x is equal to log 10, 0 0.7 divided by log 10, 10. I can then put that into my calculator. I can even write it as 0 0.7 over 10 if you wish. That's fine. Um, like this. 0 0.7 um, Actually, no, I can't do that, so my bad. I'd have to be minus, wouldn't it? No, no, look, just do that in your calculator. And then what happens there? Just chuck the negative on the other side, whatever you get. And I think it comes out to be negative 0 0.155. That makes it a positive 0 0.155. So we can just chuck that into our calculator, and that gets the answer. Now, I'm not sure if you notice, I actually just did something there that I realize I've done wrong somewhere else. So just hold, bear with one tick. Just down here, I said either of those will work. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay. Cross that out. My bad. Just do that in your calculator and that will work. So my bad, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Sorry, it's a little bit late at the moment. Okay, my very last question. This is probably the hardest question here but we're going to make it nice and easy. We do it the same way. Okay, so we've got the equation there. I'm going to use the log of base 10 because I can use my calculator. Log of base 10, 10 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to the log of base 10 of 124. Bring that down, 2x minus 1 outside of log 10, 10 is equal to log 10, 1, 2, 4. Okay, that's timesing, I'm going to divide it by log 10, 10. So I get 2x minus 1 is equal to, we can put this into our calculator now and do it to two or three decimal places. If I do that we get uh, 2.09 to two decimal places. We can add the 1, 2x is equal to 3.09. I can now divide it by 2. I then get the final answer that x is equal to um, one point. Five, five. Okay, um, I think that looks about right. Um, look, that's a pretty tough question, and they do get really challenging, as you can see. Um, just, just keep remembering those three log log laws. Um, you know, when you times in your plus, when you divide your minus, and then when you got the power of, you bring it in front, like we did here, of the of the log, and we times them together. Um, it is difficult, I know. Some of this may not have been too clear, but it's just a matter of getting uh, some questions, um, get the answers in front of you, work towards those answers. It, they do get easier, okay, that's a good thing, but this is a very challenging aspect of mathematics, um, but practice makes perfect. Look, if there's anything that's unclear to you, I'm sure there's probably his, um, drop me a line and I'll see if I can uh, maybe fix something up for you. Okay, I hope this uh, series was useful to you. Um, and hopefully it's a little bit clearer than what it was beforehand. Fingers crossed.